welcome back to the channel now it's as if andrew wellness and his administration cannot get away from the statements made by Everal warmington now every move step and decision made by the administration is now being questioned recently there was a post made by the prime minister or the office of the prime minister stating that the prime minister and his administration is committed and working on the economy so that the government is not a pressure on taxpayers this would seem like a good statement except the comment section had people questioning the authenticity of the statement being made by the prime minister now the security minister also made some announcements regarding the situation taking place on Haitian shores and with some nationals being sent to Jamaica and they will continue the reasoning. reason look and listen and collaboration we're looking at to try and bring some stability to Haiti and interest here but at the security level we primarily have to manage our borders um, we have to ensure we don't get a flood coming this way still whether well, for whatever reason um, we have, we have, well, we have had a couple of boats coming in, their interest more is going, going to North, North America and they tend to go north through the Bahamas and they sometimes go east and go all the way down to South America and come back up on the Pacific coast of the United States. That's how challenged they are. But while we are deeply concerned and I said the, the government is taking an active and leading role in trying to get CARICOM to bring some stability to, to work with partners internationally and international agencies to bring some stability to Haiti and to move us back to hopefully a more sustainable governance structure. Security wise we just seek to protect our borders, which means increasing the level of activity in our East Coast, South and North, and also increasing our collaboration with both our security forces connection contacts in Haiti as well as the other international bodies in Haiti involving security to monitor the situation there which continues to be of distress and a challenge to the Haitian community, in particular southern Haiti, Port-au-Prince and surrounding areas. Given the, the breakdown in law and order, which seems to be getting worse day by day, Agreed. we're going to have more people who are fleeing maybe just out of fear for their lives. Yeah. And I've been concerned about... Now of course as members of CARICOM, Jamaica should help out. You know, some people are say, boy, Jamaica have its own situation to deal with. Yeah, but when they can help in some way, shape, or form, you do what you can. For some reason, though, I don't know why the country and the Republic of Dominica is the same island, but you have whole heap tourists that go to the DR, but not over there. I would want to go on now. We understand why that takes place now. But what happened before? As a matter of fact, I ask a quick question. Are most, most Jamaicans even aware that Dominica and Haiti is actually the same land space, but there's a land border separating the two countries? Much like Africa is a continent, you have many countries on the African continent. And hopefully, with the help of the CARICOM members, the Asian country can return to a peaceful state. Now the people them still are talking about Warmington statements. Them still are talking about the statements made even after the original statement. Which was him saying he would withhold funds. Now after that he was overheard in Parliament saying that there's no way he could actually do that. He was then interviewed by the tabloids and he echoed the same sentiments. The people and still I said, why you say it? No, their vast statement was simple. As Mr. Warmington learned nothing. Some people are saying this is strange that Vars would be the one saying what he said. Even though it was a situation as if Mr. Warmington was responding to statements he had heard and Mr. Vars had said. And Mr. Vars just did respond to what was being said to him at the moment in parliament but some people are saying he's no stranger to controversy himself then the people start to question the whole speaker and her decisions the whole speaker being the wife of the prime minister himself and also a member of the administration 
What do people say? A march. And for those who don't know, that means budget debate. So some people have said that this is why the Prime Minister makes statements about the economy. Now, true be told, the administration has been pointing out what has been taking place with the economy. The thing is, the average Jamaican not really know what's going on with the economy. The people must say a food tax, they must look upon. Cars are living. The people that say it's almost like an extra five dollars go upon goods every week. Some people that say every couple of days. Some people that say the shipping. The truth be told, a large percentage of the snacks are either imported from North America or from Trinidad. But this is where the economy comes into play. And there are numerous factors that contribute to that five dollar increase or even more what the people might talk about so make us big problem where the economy is concerned it's not the growth of the economy it is the problem of the money not circulating the gdp gross domestic produce enough things are not being produced on the island for the people them spend on and the industries where the people them spend their money the most are not being supported by the state Food, agriculture. Should I go into details? May I ask you? Me need to go into details and we talk about the support not being showed by the state to agriculture. What the farmers them there? Comment section open. Talk to me. Talk to the people. Is the state giving the support to agriculture where the people must say it? Yeah, man, that's the level of support I want to see from the state. The state are do what they need to do. Talk to me. And as much as the people might not want to hear this, you see the entertainment sector. May I show nothing? Most first world cities are actually 24 hour cities, meaning there are numerous businesses and industries that operate on a 24 hour cycle. Whether that be gas stations and the places where you can go buy snacks and things like that at the gas stations. Whether it be the New York City and the Holy Pacana stores and the different stores and the restaurants and, you know what I mean, the nightclubs and things of that nature. It support the nightlife. You see, if enough money is not generated during the day, we need to try to generate that money day and night. Are the only solution. Think about it. If enough GDP is not generated during the day, you only have the night left to generate the GDP. But the entertainment sector has not been supported. To the level where it's supposed to be supported at. And that's in my own personal opinion. I believe, say, entertainment that takes place at night, the transportation industry, I still generate money. Um, restaurants, I go generate money. Gas stations, I go generate money. The people who do them business at these, the entrepreneurs at these venues, them are going to make money. All contributing to the GDP. So the money can continue to circulate. No one no, know the full details of how the economy works. People like to talk like them know without actually studying the economy. I will not talk just go to school. I talk overall. Of course, going to school, studying the economy, then you you know? Naturally, I've researched the subject and know as much about it as possible. But you have all the everyday people who believe, say, them know what the economy need and them, you know what I mean? I'm not saying them know, but personally, we know say, there are details where I'm not really shared with the public who make certain statements about the economy in its entirety. All we know is that these are avenues and ways for more money generate. And the next thing is, in majority of these first world countries, majority of the, the income is from industries that are owned by, are built up by entrepreneurs. Where they are talking about the, the car industry, where they are talking about the fashion industry, the music industry. You think about the industries where I generate billions of dollars overseas. A creative people and entrepreneurs get together and build up these industries. So maybe in the Caribbean, Creative people and entrepreneurs need to get together and create some industries too. But talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think.
And if you're new to the channel, just pass through with we'll the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And of course, put it on all. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. Tell me a feel about Dr. Chang's statements about the situation taking place in Haiti and what the administration plans to do and how they plan to help support the state. If you're new to the channel, let's pass through. Of course, more click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. Comment section up 24 7, you know it go. Until the reason again, of course, my sentiments for you and yours. I'm going to live, love, and prosper. I'm going to stay tuned until the reason again.